Today in Just Way, we are putting some new life into an old MacBook by upgrading the operating system and maybe even running a Minecraft server on it. So this is the plan for today. I have an old MacBook, um, I believe this is, this is a mid-2007. Right now it's just sitting around collecting dust and I think it would be pretty cool to turn it into a Minecraft server. Now running a Minecraft server is just one of the many uses of these old laptops that you wouldn't really use for day-to-day -day tasks, but a Minecraft server is just the example that I'm going to be using today. But before we do that, we need to upgrade the operating system on this to be able to run modern applications. I'm going to be installing Linux on this. That's what I would suggest to do with all old laptops, whether they're Macs, Windows, whatever. Simply because Linux doesn't need much to run, and these old laptops can't really give it much. And when it comes to making Minecraft servers, they now require Java 8. And this computer's current operating system can only run up to Java 6, so that's a problem. So to do this, you're going to need a, of course, old laptop. Um, Windows or Mac doesn't matter. I'm going to be showing you how to use a Mac just because it's what I have. Um, you can do similar processes on Windows as well. But whatever laptop you're using, I would highly suggest if it's old to remove the battery because old batteries do have a tendency to start malfunctioning when you start using them after they haven't been used in a very long time. So I just took mine out. It's pretty easy on a Mac on a Windows. I believe you might have to completely remove it back. I'm not sure. It really just depends on your particular laptop. But go ahead and do that and just run it directly off of AC power. That will save you the trouble of starting a fire in your house. You're also going to need a blank DVD or USB stick to install the operating system on first. Um, I'm going to be using a DVD drive because with this particular model of MacBook, it will not boot from a USB stick. Now this brings us to another topic entirely. When you're doing this with whatever laptop you have, be sure to go to the Linux wiki on that particular laptop to find out what works and what doesn't because every laptop is different. And lastly, to do this project, you might also want a working computer just to download the software and install it, but by all means, it is not required. As long as your old laptop still works and it can connect to internet, you shouldn't really need any other things. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get on with it. So once your old laptop is booted up, you want to head on over to ubuntu.com and get the latest desktop download of Ubuntu Linux. And that should leave you with an ISO file. Now, as far as which version to download, be sure to go and research on the particular wiki setup for your laptop to find out which version you want. Um, I'm using 16.0.3, but of course that will probably be outdated by the time you watch this video. Next, you want to go insert your blank CD or USB drive into the computer. Then you want to open up Disk Utility. Then you want to go up to File and select Open Disk Image. Now navigate to wherever you stored your ISO file, select it, and click Open. Once that's done, you want to select your ISO file on the left and go up and click Burn. You should be able to leave all these settings the same, uh, make sure your burn speed is maximum possible, and then select burn. Once it's done, the DVD should eject, which is just what we want. Now go ahead and shut down your laptop. Die! Now what we want to do is boot from this CD. So there's a couple ways we can do this. Uh, one is start it up with the DVD in it and hold the Option key to select a boot volume, but a faster way is just to hold the C key, insert the DVD. I also have to hit on to, I don't know. Alright, so as you can see here, we have booted from the CD and is now asking us to select CD ROM boot type. And I think I know what's happening here. Yep, the uh, keyboard is frozen, so this is something that I knew could happen. I did not know whether it would happen with my particular MacBook. Um, with this model of MacBook, there's two versions of it, and one version only accepts 32 bit um, Linux. And if I use 64, and if you use 64 more on the MacBook that only accepts 32, you will get this, and the keyboard will freeze. So obviously, I have installed the RON version of Linux, or at least attempted to install the RON version. So this is a simple fix. All I need to do is download the 32-bit version. Um, that's really just a trial and error thing um, with this particular MacBook. But on other laptops, I don't think that's even a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this down and re-download the 32-bit uh, distribution of Linux and follow the exact same process. Now, as you can see, it is starting to boot Linux. We have a nice little command prompt there, and it's starting up. Okay, so after waiting uh, about four or five minutes, we have fully booted up the uh, uh, disk version of Ubuntu. And as you can see, we have two options, try Ubuntu or install it. Um, try is just to make sure it works, come back and install it later. Uh, I am just going to go ahead and install. 
Alright, so now we are just going through the install phase. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when it's fully installed because this can take quite a while. Oh, look at that. that. See, this is how great Linux is. It just, on startup, shows you all the shortcuts. I mean, that's just, that's, just, that's just amazing. That's why I like Linux so much. They think of this awesome stuff. I already know how to use it, though, because I use Linux all the time. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, set up a Minecraft server on this and see if we can get that working. That should end out our video. Alright, so as you can see here, I have a Minecraft server running on the Linux laptop. And over here, I have my main Mac, and I have Minecraft loaded up. And I've typed in the IP of the Linux laptop, and if I hit join, I can log in to the Minecraft server, no problem whatsoever. Um, right now, I'm running the Minecraft server with, I believe, 512 megabytes of RAM, so half a gigabyte. That's plenty for one person. I'll probably up it to one gig, because... That laptop does have about one gig of RAM idle all the time, so I can bump it up to one gig and should be just fine. But of course, if you wanted to run an actual server, a public server for, you know, hundreds of people to get on, that would not work whatsoever at all. You need a real server to run that. But for me and maybe one or two of my friends, this works just fine. Well, I hope that was a good demonstration of what these laptops can do when they're running lighter operating systems. As you can see, I would not have been able to do that on the original OS X because I couldn't run Java or even have the capability to run it because not enough RAM would be free for the application. So, Linux is pretty cool in that respect. I hope that tutorial was easy to follow and concise. I uh, tried to show you some of the problems that I encountered so that if you encounter the same ones, you would know how to fix it. But really what you really need to do is before attempting this is find the wiki article for your particular model laptop on the Linux website and they will tell you pretty much everything you need to know about installing Linux on that particular machine. And let me know if you guys have any ideas of what I could do with these two laptops because I still have these laying around. Um, one of these is 1 gigabyte of RAM, the other one is 512 uh, megabytes of RAM, so pretty low resources, but there's still some things I could do with them, so let me know if you want to see anything done with these. That's pretty much it for today's video. I'm Shia, thanks for watching. So I actually do have a Raspberry Pi um, running Linux, so I could have, you know, used that to run a Minecraft server, but it's cooler to say you have a MacBook running Linux running a Minecraft server, so, you yeah. know, actually this doesn't work, so.